good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching me from hope you're up you're well and you're happy so today we'll be talking about um land banking who a land banker is and understanding the concept of um, land banking a land banker is a person that buys land and then hold on to that land for a long period of time before selling it all right and understanding the fact that land banking is not something you can borrow money to do all right because it's a long-term investment it's not something you can borrow money to do because is you can't you won't buy today and then tomorrow you're selling unless once you're selling all right you're holding it on for a long period of time okay and then another thing is if you're all for getting quick return on your investment land banking is not for you all right you can get this quick money from land banking the whole thing is for your land to be adding value while the capital you invested is appreciating that's the whole idea of land banking all right so this is what you need to understand before you go into land banking and then how to secure the land making sure that the documents and everything any document that contains the land you're making sure that when it is given to you you become the right the legal owner of that property and then you can go ahead and you can go on to just um lease out the place to farmers or just farm just farm on the all right on the land or you can then decide to fence it just to secure the place just do something on the land to just secure the land all right so i talked about um i said it's not a must you're going to be buying a large quantity all right it's not a must that you're buying in large it's, it's not a must that you're doing a, a wholesale something all right i started with just one one plot of land all right so then land banking with just one plot of land from my village all right so this is how i started land banking when i was 19 years old i okay fine i schooled in them as about girls grammar school in as about delta state and then when i'm going home like going back to visit my parents for holidays and all that during holidays i just you see this airport the airport road everything along in the airport road all right we have an airport in asaba so i'll be telling myself that one day i'll own properties here i'll have lands here all right along this airport road okay so after i finished secondary school i moved back to um, my village to stay with my parents because i was living with my aunts then so i moved back to um live with my parents and how did i start land banking i have this other brother that is a very big fan of land he loves buying land in large quantities that he he everything about land he just call his name and he will appear so what i did was i started as his agent all right so the whole thing is for me to make sure that the documents um uh the real document all right the original document for the land um the family members that were buying the land from are the real owners of the land and then everything every document is getting will make him the legal owner of the property and uh making sure that he the um he's paying to the right owners and all of that so that was that was what i was doing and then in return I get and paid my own commission as the agent all right so what i do is what i did was that the money i got paid the money he paid me all right as commission i bought a plot of land with it all right that's how i got my first that's how i started land banking all right and as time went by as as time went on like he kept on buying and buying and all that so the whole thing was when he buys property i'll just tell him that instead of giving me a commission all right give me lands that are equivalent to the commission all right the money that you're supposed to give me as my commission so he he's my brother of course so he's like, okay fine nice no problem so he just give me all oh, like few plots of land from the acres of land that he has acquired so that's how i started all right i started in my village and the whole plan was for me to buy the land live it there for like five to six years and then resell it and then buy in this um in delta states in asaba that i always um, i've always dreamt of having lands there so that was the whole plan all right so i held on to that land for like 
uh, five to six years and then sold the property the land and i was able to put the money together to acquire a portion of land in the other state all right so that was how i started land banking all right so let's say for instance or like let's just make this as plain as possible all right let's say you are a student you are in a university and then you have the side hustle that you do that that brings in um cash to you and you've been able to save up this amount of money and you're looking at you feel okay you're thinking now let me buy land okay let me buy a land keep the land for hold on to the land for um few years and then sell it to establish myself or right, when i'm out of school and then this is the business i want to do and then i can sell the land and then do that business so this is this is it all right if that's your case if that's what you want to do that's amazing you are you're you're, you're that's beautiful all right but you're making sure that the place that you're going to buy that land make make sure that it's something that after five years you or six years or the number of years you you your preferred number of years that you want to hold on to that land it's something that you can resell and then use the money for what you've planned it for all right make sure you're not buying in a place that even after seven or that number of years you want to hold on to that land you are not able to sell it make sure that's not what you're doing all right so the whole thing is knowing why you are land banking all right it will help you okay because a, a a big investor that is used to acquiring land and then he just his only just his plan is well i'll just buy this land and then keep it i don't i don't want to do anything with it just keep it there watch um uh, my the, the the land add value and then my my capital appreciate all right so you you you're not doing something you're not doing you won't go and buy where somebody like that is buying a person like that can decide to buy in a thick forest all right he's just um, fine maybe he wants to build a warehouse a factory um a, 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 a what a just for industrial purpose you will not go and buy you're not going to buy um in the same place with somebody who's a big investor all right that that's acquiring acres of land and all that so you that is just you only just to buy one plot or two plots make sure you're buying in a place that you are able to resell all right and then use it for what you plan you plan on using the money to do maybe for you to establish yourself when you're done with school or you're just like me that wanted to that that you love but maybe you're living in lagos state or you're living in any other state and you feel oh, there's this area that you like and then you want to have lands there but you feel you want to start from your village with the kind of money you have that's where you can start my dear start from there all right it doesn't really matter where you start from the whole thing is starting well and then doing it right all right 